archipelagic country like the Philippines, ships are primarily responsible for linking islands and for moving people, goods, and services from one place to another. Efficient domestic shipping services spur economic growth, thereby contributing to the generation of employment opportunities towards the realization of inclusive growth for all Filipinos. During the dawn of Philippine history, trade happened in river banks and on inter-island borders, a great example of which is the border trade that flourished in Mindanao and in Malaysia. The Maritime Industry Authority or the Marina is responsible for the regulation, development, supervision, and promotion of the domestic shipping industry. This is to ensure that people reach their destination safely and commodities reach their market swiftly to be sold at the most competitive prices. The Marina's Domestic Shipping Service or DSS is mainly tasked to implement the progressive development and the modernization of the country's domestic shipping industry. This is done through the evaluation of the performance of shipping companies in relation to their services to the passengers and the management of the acquisition of ships for domestic trading and fishing operations. The development of routes, zones, and areas of operations towards an integrated sea transport network is also in the hands of the DSS by identifying viable trade routes for line vessels, passenger ferries, and rural ships, among others. Stakeholder consultations are also regularly conducted to ensure that the quality and efficiency of domestic shipping services are maintained despite constant challenges in the industry. With the proactive leadership of the Marinas DSS, the domestic shipping trade in the Philippines has experienced a steady growth in the past years. The service sector takes pride in the increased number of Philippine registered vessels utilized for domestic shipping, from approximately 31,000 in 2016 to almost 33,500 in 2017. Rural traffic also increased by 6.4%, from 1.2 million to more than 1.3 million in just a span of a year. And the recorded revenue performance of the domestic shipping industry grew by 7.24%, hitting at 15.35 billion pesos in 2017 from the 13.23 billion pesos in 2016. This positive data encouraged the marina to come up with long-term programs to further enhance the industry and make the Philippine domestic shipping trade nationally integrated and globally competitive. One of the priority projects of the Barinas DSS is the modernization and transformation of the Philippine merchant fleet. To date, the Marina has issued policies on the age and size restrictions on the importation of passenger ships and the availment of a 12% VAT exemption for the importation of ships as well as its spare parts. The development of the Philippine Nautical Highway System is also a major agenda of the Marina's DSS as it is indispensable for more economical, safer, and more efficient inter-island transport and the entire domestic shipping services in general. The Roro Terminal System, which is an integrated network of highway and vehicular ferry routes, will connect major islands of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. This 919-kilometer nautical highway will make travel time around the Philippine archipelago to more or less 17 hours. The domestic shipping service also intensified its mobile registration, licensing, documentation, and franchising of motor bankas and fishing boats below 35 GT. To top it off, information campaigns on the upgrading of motor bankas to fiber reinforced plastic boats are ongoing since mid-2018. This is to inform and educate stakeholders on the advantages and benefits of domestic modernization program. The domestic shipping industry plays a significant role in projecting the image of the Philippine maritime industry to the world. With innovative plans and programs in hand, the marina is all geared towards enhancing the Philippine shipping trade one vessel in one island at a time.